And this is a live picture coming to us from Columbiana County. This is the fire, which many of you saw the thick black smoke in the sky from. It's the old Salem China factory. It's on fire, has been burning now for two and a half hours. And parts of the building, as you can see right there, have collapsed. There's still a couple flares going up from things popping inside that fire as well. Now we've heard the calls for help on our newsroom scanners just after uh, 3 o'clock, th near 3.30. And that's when we rushed to the scene off of South Broadway in Salem. And this is video that our news crew shot as soon as we got there this afternoon. Well, now that building has been closed for some time, but there are other properties in this area. No one has been evacuated yet. And the smoke can be seen for miles. People in Canfield, Boardman, and Poland are all telling us they're seeing this effect, the effects from this massive fire. In fact, the smoke even shows up on our radar. You can see it there in Salem, spreading across the area of 224. First News anchor Stan Boney has been on the scene for the past few hours. He's live tonight with the breaking developments. Well, we've been standing here since about quarter to five this afternoon. And I can tell you that the smoke is beginning to subside a little bit. Uh, the Salem Fire Department has a ladder truck on this side. From what I understand, Canfield and Latonia have ladder trucks on the other side from where I'm standing in the fire. And what I can see now are the lights from one of those ladder trucks through what's left of the smoke. So the smoke is beginning to decrease in intensity and beginning to drop off just a little bit. What we're beginning to see now, though, are pieces of paper from inside the warehouse house that are shooting up into the air 40 or 50 feet on fire. They get caught in the wind and then they just die out altogether. So that's what we're beginning to see now as the firefighters continue to do their best to try to put their fire uh, this fire out. Now, one of the best we can tell is it started about 3.30 this afternoon. The building itself is owned by the Pigeon family, which is a very well-known name throughout the Salem area. Uh, the they own the company called Church Envelopes and they sell envelopes that are used in church collections. So what they believe is inside this building are plastic products, paper products, uh, there are printing products possibly, and that's most likely what is burning inside the building and why it will likely continue to burn throughout the night. The building itself probably well over 100 years old. It was at one point the Salem China factory, but it has not been open since probably the late 1960s. Now I did talk with one man who owns a nearby business, and this is what he saw. They had to get their hoses pulled from out there on, on Euclid and every place else, so it took them a while to, to get water in here. As I understand it, they didn't want to go in these buildings. They've been around a long time, and they're old, and uh, it's not real safe. And as the fire burned, you could hear the buildings collapsing and walls coming down. So. Well, one thing they are concerned about, there are houses on the other side from where I'm standing, and they are, from what I understand, pouring water on those houses to make sure they don't burn. I haven't heard that anybody has been hurt at all. Uh, as you heard the man say, they decided not to go in the building itself and not to try and put it out. Right now, everything is being fought from outside of the building. Uh, they have a number of ladder trucks here pouring water on it and a number of fire departments here tonight helping out on this fire. But this one is going to burn a while uh, and will likely be here throughout the night. Live in Salem, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Now, our coverage of this fire is also including pictures from you. This is one of those which you can find at WKBN.com. It shows the smoke in the distance. You can send us a picture through the reported feature at WKBN.com or the WKBN app. And you can also see the other pictures we have. Plus, get new information tonight as First News anchor Stan Boney works to learn how the fire started and how efforts to put it out are going.